Hello again guys, Gaz, you're back again here and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Zhang Li and how we're going to build him, how we're going to prepare for him and stuff like that. He is coming out in a couple days, probably next week. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, it's not too late to start preparing because all the weekly domains and all that other stuff for the things that you need can get before he comes out I'm assuming. First here is everything, all the links are in the description if you guys want to follow along. Here is pretty much the required evolution materials, all of this is from the Geo Hypostasis, Core Lapis, and Fighting Slime so it's not too hard to get his evolution things. As far as talents, it's guides to gold and a whole bunch of the slime things. So it's not it's pretty easy to farm. The only thing that you really need to do is the guides to gold and the hypostasis, but aside from that, you should be able to get all of the things that you need. I put the total amount of everything that you need on screen right now if you guys want a easy chart to refer back to. So we know that Zhang Li is a polar user and he utilizes shields and other geo constructs as his main DPS. So with that being said, there are two different ways you can kind of build Zhang Li. One thing you can do is the shield that's the way I'm gonna be building if you hold it breaks geo constructs and it also puts a shield based on his HP with that being said you could probably have HP on some of your main stats or even sub stats for your last three um, artifacts if you want to get the beefiest shield that you can now as for the press G it creates a stone pillar that you can pretty much climb or break or block attacks and it resonates with other geo constructs meaning that it does damage over time in an area of effect if you have more geo constructs say you have Ningguang or the Traveler's Rock pretty much it'll be doing damage so depending on what you're gonna be really using Zhongli for whether you're gonna use them as a support or a DPS it really depends on in my opinion it depends on the the goblet the cup because that's where you want to switch it to either physical bonus damage if you're just trying to use this normal attack geo bonus damage if you're trying to use the press G for the stone pillar to resonate or if you just want the fattest shield you possibly can I'd say get HP in your main stat for the for all three or if you could get really good substats get some really good HP substats and then have the rest be your offensive bonuses now for his ultimate he does have the first petrification uh, ability in the game so meaning that they're gonna be stuck in place they're gonna be stuck for roughly three to four seconds depending on the level of the talent and if you have the constellation it increases it by two I think yeah on the constellation four you get increased area and increased petri uh, petrification time there are a couple sets that you can use for Zhang Li, there's Retracing Bolide, uh, Archaeatric Petra, those are the two main ones that first come to mind when I'm thinking about Zhang Li. The way I'm building him is as a support slash DPS, that's why I have uh, crit rate, physical bonus damage, and attack percent on these three. If I were going for full shield, I'd just go HP because his shield is based off his max HP. You really can't go wrong if you get part HP or part damage, it really it really depends on how you're going to actually use Zhang Li. Speaking about constellations, at constellation 1, he's able to place down two um, pillars at once, so you're going to have pretty much double the damage if you have them stacked in an area, so getting constellation 1 Zhang Li might change the way you play him. With his second constellation, Planet Befall, it puts a shield, so you could also use that as support. Honestly, any of his constellations are good, and you can use them in any build that you desire. But for those who really want to play Zhongli as a support, mainly for the shield, I recommend putting Retracing Bolide, uh, maybe even just the two-piece if you're just going to use them for the shield, because you really don't need the four set because if you're not going to have them out there, then there's no point because with the force set, you get 40% increase normal attack and charge attack. In my opinion, you could all, you could probably run two Retracing Bolide and maybe two Archaeatric Petra for the 15 bonus damage for the Geo Construct Resonation, the resonating thing. If you're not going to have him set in, if you're not going to have him fighting, then having two Archaeatric and two Retracing Bolide would not be a bad idea because, and if you have Geo bonus damage as this one, then he'll probably be doing a lot more damage with the rocks and having a good shield. For substats, again, I think crit rate, crit damage, not so much if you guys are gonna not put him in. HP might be good, energy recharge if you guys are, yeah, energy recharge and HP are probably the two things I'm gonna highly recommend if you don't plan on using him as DPS because there wouldn't be a point for having crit damage. I mean, it's good if you want to. The only reason why I'm putting in crit damage, uh, physical bonus damage, and crit rate is because I'm also gonna have him as my second DPS. So it's gonna be Child and Zhang Li as my two main DPS. But the shield is also really good. Taking a look at Zhang Li's weapon, this is what's gonna be a real game changer in my opinion, but it's not all necessary. I think this is gonna come out with a weapon banner. Uh, you don't need this. It is like a good little side touch thing in my opinion that makes him pretty good. Pretty much it increases the shield health, increases the uh, attack percent whenever he hits, max to five stacks, 
and when he's under a shield it doubles the effect of the attack increase. So the reason why I'm building Zhongli as DPS and shield is because if you have a retrace and bolide as the 35% increased shield and the 40% increased damage on normal attack and charged attack which is probably physical damage which is why I got this one, that's 40% increase, 35% increased shield, 20% increase to shield, if you're under a shield 40% increase to attack. If you have two geo people on your team, if you're under a shield effect you have 50% increased attack damage and let's say you have two fires and that's 25% increased damage so pretty much while you're under a shield and you're having Zhang Li out then you'll probably be doing some really good damage which is why I put crit rate on him because his attack is gonna be increased his physical damage is gonna be increased while you're under a shield with Zhang Li he's probably gonna do some mad damage as long as you have the proper equipment as for leveling up this weapon here's everything you need I have another chart on screen now if you guys want to build this up my whole build with Zhang Li is pretty much increasing his attack and a shield as much as I can based on having a shield on. So we're talking about the four piece bolide increase, the double geo that gives you the bonus, and having the weapon as well. Pretty much Zhongli is going to be doing a lot of physical damage. As for the geo constructs, it will be doing some damage, some passive damage. It won't be doing anything crazy unlike his uh, physical attack. But it is something to look into. Again, it really depends on how you're building Shang Li. So to sum it up, too long didn't read. I'm going four piece bolide. I'm really trying to max his shield out, as well as increase the attack bonuses you get with the shield. If you're playing construct, then Archaeatric Petrol would not be a bad idea. Another recommendation is probably Noblis. And if you're really trying to go for that two piece physical damage increase, maybe Bloodstained Chivalry. But I don't really think it's needed because there's a lot other. The four piece set bonus for retracing build light. I just feel like it's a lot better. For the 4 piece Archaeatric Petra, I'm not too sure. Honestly, I feel like the 2 piece is fine itself and then maybe you can pop in like a gladiator or even a, a bull light on it because I don't think the 4 set is really needed. I think the 15% increased damage and then if you're really going for the geo construct or the support type Sean Lee, again geo damage bonus should be here instead of physical damage bonus. Uh, what I recommend is usually it's kind of hard to find the elemental damage bonuses. Uh, so I say get the 4 piece on the other one since these are easier to get. And then for here just use whatever you have. Like you see I have a Wanderer's Troop here because this is the only physical damage. I don't think I have any geo damage. Uh, but I don't plan on using him for his construct. So yeah, Zhang Li, he's gonna be definitely a character you all want to try pull for. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention his passive abilities. Planet Befall deals additional damage equal to 33% of Zhang Li's max HP. Pretty much, Noblis would probably be good with that. Having a lot of HP would also be good with that. And with the Jade Shield Fortify on his other talent, pretty much makes his shield stronger every time he gets hit, up to five times. But with that being said, hopefully this guide helped you guys prepare for Zhang Li. He's coming out soon. I wish you all the best of luck for summoning. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving as well. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.